Welcome to Dr. Chester Runs, and I'm gonna rant about another retarded shit. Well, you thought that was going to be something else, something different? We live in, in retard world, we live in clown world. What do you think would happen? In clown world, you don't have anything that is not retarded. <laughs> what do you think would happen? <laughs> anyway. From Bounding to Comics, Legendary announces race swap of historical figure Elizabeth Wilkinson in Championess. I wonder what would actually happen if we swapped uh, uh, Shaka Zulu or something other historical black historical figure in Africa. Would they actually? Would they actually lose their minds? Of course they would. We live in clown world. What else? What else? Anyway, let's go and read the news. Legendary Comics recently revealed that their newly released Championess graphic novel features a race-swapped Elizabeth Wilkinson. Eh. What else, Hart? What else is new? If you're unfamiliar with Wilkinson, she was an 18th century boxer in London. Author L.A. Jennings, in her book She's a Knockout, A History of Women in Fighting Sports, described Wilkinson saying she may be the most venerated female pugilist in British history. Her story has been adapted by the Legendary Comics in their recently released Championess graphic, graphic novel, however, they decided to reimagine her as half Indian. Yeah. First woman to drop her coin loses. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. A press release from Legendary Comics read Championess is based on true story of Elizabeth Wilkinson, a female bare knuckle boxer in 18th, 18th century London. Elizabeth reimagined as half Indian and her sister Tess struggled to make ends meet and cover Tess's debt. Ah, the description continues while Elizabeth works works other jobs at local newspaper, the only way she knows how to make enough money to help them survive is her true passion, their knuckle boxing. Oh for fuck's sake. Oh fuck's sake, why can't you people just respect historical figures? It's not really that hard. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Dude, you look like an onibrow sort of dude. Anyway, with that support, Elizabeth trains at the boxing facility of one of the most famous retired boxers and the only real fight promoter of any notoriety, James Fig. The description adds, Oh Jesus Christ, kill me, kill me. It concludes as Elizabeth trains with Fig and James Stokes, she confronts her personal demons that they destroy of what destroyed her family and comes to terms with being the first half Indian female boxer in white male Jesus Christ, I know why they, they wanted to do that. Um, the first half Indian female white these people have a really weird hate boner against white males. You're, you're making this comic so... Uh, who do you think is going to buy this piece of shit? White males? But then again, most white males actually care about this. And they are just going to look at it and move on to all this other stuff. And in fact, I think most of the other stuff they are moving on is comics that are not even from Marvel, DC Comics, IDW, or whatever nonsensical bullshit. They are moving on to comics that actually, I don't know, that supports their, uh, their, their content and their stuff that they like. Not these nonsensical crap that they have done so lately. Ah, fuck's sake. I, I think I'm going to have to, well, do the next best thing here, and, well, maybe, maybe have to add the, this content, this shit, into my woke washing list. I don't know. Do I actually create a separate list for comics? Do I have, I don't know what to do. As you can see here, look, woke washing list. The woke washing. It's uh, last updated April 12th. Oh, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I do not what. I do not know what to do. What what should I do in this case? What can I do? There's not much, really. Ah, fuck's sake. 
Anyway, the book is written by Kelly Zikas and Tarun Shankar with art by Amanda Perez Fuentes. Yeah, the art is a bit, also a bit... In the press release, Legendary comic, uh, uh, Comics also reveals the book is already going to get a television adaptation by UK based What For... Don't tell me, it's going to be Ray Swapped as well. What, what for an excess, uh, Essex is a joint venture between Legendary Entertainment and showrunners Emma Frost and Matthew Graham. Make them remember who you are. Let's see. She's going to fight patriarchy white, white meals. Championess is currently available to purchase. Nobody wants to buy that piece of shit. It's 232 pages long and retails at $22. Well, $21.99, but 22 so at least, at least uh, 232 pages, at least it's better value than the last uh, Deadpool comic I, I bought. But looking at the art, the story and the content, I'm gonna go and venture and say it's not quite worth the price. I'll give it uh, $2, $3 tops. Because the drawings are... Very, very mess. I'm mostly mess than a hit. This looks good, okay-ish, but everything else in here mostly mess than a hit. This one was definitely a mess. This one a mess. Seriously, what are they thinking? What do they think they can actually do? Do they have brains for shit? What is going on with their goddamn filthy fucking brains? Are they retarded? What? What do they think are they going to do? But then again, the TV show that is going to come out of this is definitely going to be really swapped. And I'll have to actually go on and add it to my goddamn fucking list. <sighs> I hope it doesn't even go through. I'm getting tired of updating this list. Good lord. Anyway, if you like this type of sort of content or whatever this bullshit is, stay right here on youtube.com for a slash Dr. Jester and fuck the fucky fuck 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 you, YouTube. And if you want more spicy 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 content, you know where to go. Bitchute.com for slash Dr. Chester or minds.com for slash Dr. Chester for Anyway, uh, once again, thank you for watching. See you in my next video. No, I don't know. Should I end that one? See you in my next video. Good night? Oh, okay. Anyway, good night.